Chaturanga Dandasana, or four limb staff pose, is a pose that we tend to fly through in a group yoga class. In this video, I'm going to slow down the pace and show you how to lower into Chaturanga with strength and intention by first with my knees on the floor and then with my knees off the floor. To show you how to lower into Chaturanga with my knees on the floor, I'll come into my tabletop and then I'll length my, lengthen my legs back into a full plank pose. I'll reach out my knees to the ground, and you'll notice now that my knees are behind my hips. And I want my knees here because this will challenge my body similarly as if when my knees are off the ground, and it will give me space to lower down. Before I move any further, I want to aim my butt down to the backs of my knees and lift my low belly up towards my ribs to engage my core. I'll keep the back of my neck long and my gaze just beyond my middle fingers. I'll shift my weight slightly forward and bend my elbows straight back to my edge and then push back up. I know where my edge is when I'm working the hardest to keep myself up and my core engaged. I know I've moved past my edge when I let gravity take over and I plop to the floor. Working at your edge is good because that will help challenge your body. You're working the hardest here and you're building strength. So even if that's just two centimeters down, you're doing good work. Eventually, maybe you build up enough strength to lower your shoulders down to the height or to be in line with your elbows, no further. You push back up. You can continue doing this with your knees on the floor but if you want to challenge your body even more, you can pick your knees off the ground, which will bring more body weight into the equation and it'll be a lot more challenging. Nothing else changes other than our straight, strong legs behind me. So I'll move slightly forward, same principles here, lower to my edge and then back up. Eventually, again, I might build up enough strength to lower down to where my shoulders are in line with my elbows. Slowing down the pace of how fast you lower down in your chaturanga, whether it's with your knees on the floor or your knees off the ground, is good because it builds strength and body awareness. It's always good to work around your edge because that's when you're working the hardest and you're building up strength even if that's two centimeters or whether you're lowering all the way down to your shoulders or where your shoulders are in line with your elbows, everything is good. Be patient. Working against gravity takes time. Thanks for watching.